We'll rake anything and everything, trivial or deep. No matter what the outcome is, we promise that you'll weep. Tears of joy. Hello and welcome to Tears of Joy, the podcast where we rank anything and everything. I'm Charles. And I'm Andre. And this week, we're talking about Christmas songs. But first... We have a very special guest. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Uh, I, am, <laughs> we didn't know. I am Eric, cousin of Charles, cousin of Andre. What do you sound like a Viking? Well, <laughs> I am a Viking. Oh, that's true. You're from Sweden. Yes. I didn't even think about that. That makes that explains so many things. Yeah. This is uh, this is our cousin Eric. Yeah. We're in New York right now. That's true. It's We're true. in an, an alternate recording setting, so it's gonna be a janky. Yeah. Where do you live, Eric? Well, I currently live in Los Angeles. I've been living there for about a year and a half, but I used to live here in New York, actually. But uh, yeah, now I live in Los Angeles, so we see each other like what once or twice a year at this Pretty point twice a year yeah, yeah probably. if we're lucky um yeah. so yeah no they just inside decided to invite me to the podcast so i'm yeah. happy about that super cool and this week we're doing christmas songs just in time for christmas what what yeah. made you do christmas songs guys um, wow that's andre said there was a christmas song in particular that made him want to do this episode yep. And I'm going to be talking about it. I'm really excited. Oh, okay, good. Uh, Charles, how does the ranking system work again? Uh, on Tears of Joy, we rank things in tiers. We go from S tier to A, B, C, D, and F tier. Um, so it's basically letter grades with S at the top, which means slay. Santa cool. slay. Oh, boy. S-L-E-I-G-H. Oh, boy. All right. So that's yeah. cool. All right. Um, you want to get started? Yes. I'll start off with Jingle Bells. Eric... How this do you is feel it. about this? This is the one I wanted to talk about. <laughs> okay, that was the, that was the, <laughs> this is the one I wanted to talk about. Wow, okay. So, just gonna be real with you. I think Jingle Bells is not a great Christmas song. I think that it is it can do so much better. And it, it tries hard and it's okay. It just I think Jingle Bell Rock is better in so many ways. And like, here's why. Here's, really? here's my here's my biggest case against Jingle Bells. The lyrics. Look, okay, we understand you're in a one horse open sleigh. They say it. So, okay, here, here, are the, here are the lyrics of the song. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh, as mm-hmm. if it's, like, way better than any type of sleigh, right? Right. Then, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. We already get it. That's how songs work fine. That's sure. But sure. Uh, you're not really conveying much to me. Then, dashing through the snow in a one-horse <laughs> open sleigh. No one cares. No <laughs> one cares the type of sleigh. I came here for some jingle bells. I can't <laughs> What type of sleigh you were in? It reminds me of like vegans when they're like, oh, I'm doing this diet and it's way better than your meat diet. Like, my one horse open sleigh is way um, better than yours. I'd like to apologize to all the vegans out there. We do appreciate you. Just please don't be. Uh, Eric don't be... doesn't, but he's not a regular, so don't, listen. <laughs> don't, don't stop listening to us. Wow. But yeah. That... Yeah, no, that is weird. I never really thought. And what? That sounds like a terrible sleigh. One horse open sleigh, so there's no ceiling, and yeah. it's only pulled by one horse. Poor so horse. You know, you know, you know, <laughs> poor <laughs> horse. And cold. It's freezing cold. Yeah. And like, there's jingle bells are annoying. Yeah. If They're you loud. have like one horse just pulling you across like the bouncy frozen wilds, and you just have these like bells just jingling the whole time, that's gonna drive you crazy. But here's oh, yeah. the thing. Here's the thing. I feel like if you have to explain how fun something is over and over again, you know it's not fun. <laughs> oh they keep saying, oh, what fun it is. Then they go, uh, you know, laughing all the way, <laughs> making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a slant <laughs> song tonight. Yeah, and, and it's so says, much fun. This is what fun is ride and sing. A slaying song. A song for slays. Why is there... Why did they create this new genre of sleigh songs? That is true, because most other songs are about, like, presents, Christmas, yeah. family. Can't, but they're like, check out my sleigh. <laughs> can't every sleigh... No, can't every song be a slaying song? Yes. It Does it can. have to be about sleighs? It sounds like it's just a song they're singing in the yeah. sleigh. And then also, a lot of these, these you know, songs are about to go, go, go over, even if we don't love them necessarily, they've got some, some varied lyrics. This really is just the same... Dash into the snow and the winter's open sleigh, over the hills we go laughing all the way, blah, blah, blah. That is the only other verse that is not Jingle Bells in the whole right. song. That is it. So it's just so minimal. It really doesn't have a lot to offer. I don't no, it's a think good it's a good no. Christmas song. I fully agree with you. I think it's very simple compared to other Christmas songs. Where, where are you going to rank it? I, I don't think it's a failure of a Christmas song because it's so, like, 
mm -hmm. widespread. Jingle bells are an iconic part of the Christmas experience, but I'm honestly gonna say D. I think they're so much wow. better. Songs out there are so much better than jingle bells. I'm putting it at C because I think the simplicity makes it easier to enjoy. Okay. There's some Christmas songs that you, okay. like, everyone knows the words to jingle bells, yes, for example. correct. A lot of people don't know the words to, you said rock, uh, you said jingle bell rock. Yes. I know, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. And those are the, all yeah. the words I know. I guess I just don't think that knowing all the words necessarily makes it a better song or a worse song. Well, then fight me. Yeah. I will let you know the next time I have a one horse open sleigh, I'll just okay. lend it straight to you because I know you love right. those so much. Yeah, we can, mm, so how about we have a duel? <laughs> that was not bad. Like you were going with. And, like, I, what's, what's... and I kill you, and we play the song because it's a slaying song. Oh, I'm gonna God. slay you. So that's been this episode of Tears of Joy. Thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be the new host. <laughs> Eric, 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 where do you uh, where do you put it? Um, I will honestly put it on a D two because let's go. I wow. really just don't enjoy that song. Like yeah. I'll almost listen to any other Christmas song. That's before a good that point. One. I really will, honestly. I agree. All right. Next up is Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Which is a weird song. Why is everyone okay with this song? This is, one of those, this is one of those things where it's just like a song that exists, and we're all okay with the fact that it exists, but isn't it weird that there's some song about like, <laughs> it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and the case of the animal microaggressions <laughs> like like everyone's just racist against him because of his nose and it's just really shiny i guess and everyone's just laughing at him and it's not just that they're laughing at him because that's mean in itself they don't let him play their reindeer games now i want to know what's a reindeer game why isn't it just games I mean, it's just like how humans play human games dogs we don't call them dog games we don't call Reindeers them dog games, games. <laughs> what are talking about, man? are the games like played with reindeer uh, no, like thing, as okay. You, dogs don't play bingo, right? So, bingo <laughs> That's is a very bingo true is statement. definitely not a dog game. Reindeer games are games that can be played by reindeer and are played by reindeer. Bingo What's, is a human game. Do you know any? Do I know any reindeer yeah. games? I'm not a reindeer, Charles. Maybe, you maybe abusing your friends is a reindeer <sighs> game. Oh my god. Actually, no, he, they let him participate in that. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> well, that's the Christmas spirit. Anyways, then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? <laughs> Basically saying, we hate you so much until you're useful to us. What kind of message is that? It's like, like, uh, 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 I, just, I just think it's dumb. What do you think, Eric? I, I just think that Santa's sending out a great message to all the kids that if you're different, <laughs> we'll leave you alone for now. But when, you know, you grow up, maybe you start looking a little bit normal. Santa wasn't a part of the abuse, you know? Santa was just chilling. And then he came in and he Santa was like, was a bi Rudolph, Santa said nothing. You can be helpful to me. Santa said nothing. He's a bystander. And that's just as bad as a bully. But he's not. He Hi, is. I'm Charles. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Cartoon Network. Stand up against bullies. Oh my gosh. Um, I, I don't have as much of an aversion to this as you do. I think I also really like the movie. Like the, um, I don't know, the animated stuff is cool. Yeah. And so I, I enjoy that story enough. I'm not I think saying... In, I think of it in the context of the movie as opposed to as an independent song, you know? Hmm. This Isn't it weird also? They make... This is a weird trend... They make song. They make movies based off of Christmas songs. Why is that a thing? I mean, with Rudolph it worked. I don't know if it was even. I don't know where it originated. To be honest, I'm assuming there was some weird like folk tale that was like, "Oh, there's a reindeer." Let's find out. Yeah, I don't know. But ultimately, I don't. I don't have as much of an aversion to this song as you do. I think it's mm -hmm. got a good tune to it. It's got more varied lyrics. It's a story of, you know. Someone who's different, overcoming diversity. We can all relate to Rudolph, you know? Yeah. We've all been misfits at some point in our lives. And so we can come back in and find that Santa who's going to tell us, hey, your shiny nose ain't so bad. It's okay if you're black, Eric. <laughs> we can use that. I will say you're on to something there, Andre. I will say that. Because comparatively to Jingle Bells, I feel like it's actually at least a song and adds somewhat of so, a story within boss. the song and not just words within the So Rudolph melody. the Red-Nosed Reindeer was based off of a children's book before it became a song yeah. and then it turned into a movie. Okay. Oh well. So I, I forgive it a little bit, but I still think it's weird that it's a thing. I feel like yeah. it shouldn't be... The, the, the amount that it is mainstream is bizarre to me. I can concur with that and still like the song. 
I don't say I'm not saying I dislike the song. You're saying it's wacky. I'm just saying it's okay. bonkers. Bonkers. <laughs> it's absolutely bonkers. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's honestly all right. Um, absolutely mental. I'm I'm putting it at C tier. Um, I honestly don't think it's I don't C for Christmas. Oof. Okay, that's actually quite fitting. Oof. But I think it's a good. Oh, let's see. Let me let me look back at the lyrics here because I think it's actually a fine. Yeah, no, it's a fine one. It's all right. I'll put it in B tier. I think it's a good song. All right. Nick, where are you I, I, I have to put it on a C. I have to put it on, on a C. Because, uh, again, if I'm just going off of based on, like, actually how I would listen to the song and enjoy it personally, also not just going into the lyrics, like, also not a Christmas song I would play. Mm-hmm. Even probably, like, top five. You know what <laughs> sure, I mean? Like, sure. I just wouldn't play it. Um, next up, Frosty the Snowman. Eric, why don't you lead Frosty? Frosty the Snowman... I, I, okay, you know what? I kind of do like it because you. it's it's calming sure. and just being someone that's not even from the same country, I I hear it in Sweden. You know what I mean? Like sure. it's just a, what's it called? Worldly played song. Sure. So I appreciate Internationally it. Internationally known. Internationally known. Wow. What do you what do you think about the concept of a sentient snowman? <laughs> <laughs> Something came like it feels like that's an existential how would you, question. How would you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. How do you feel that God gave a snowman this, life? This song. The song. These kids build a snowman. Some old silk hat they found. They just found an old silk hat somewhere. Put it on the snowman's head. It's magic, I guess. Relatable. I, and then the snowman comes to life. That would be terrifying. That would be terrifying. <laughs> that's, that's the plot to a horror movie, not a, not a kid's <laughs> book. They put the head of the snowman, he comes to life, he comes around and plays with them all day long. Oh boy. And then he dies. <laughs> he no dies, he done. melts. No harm done. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it wouldn't be that horrific for the kids to see a snowman melt. It Only if he screams. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely screams. <laughs> it's not pleasant to melt. <laughs> Okay, no. This is a whole different. This is a whole different. We could write a whole song about this. Does Frosty the Snowman feel pain? Oh no. <laughs> I don't know. But I will say, at the end of the song, canonically, he doesn't necessarily melt and die. What does he do? It ends with thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump. Look at Frosty go. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump over the hills of snow. Those are the last lyrics of what, the song. What's the verse He's before afraid, that? No, no. I will say earlier on. Um, he says he had to hurry on his way. He waved goodbye, saying, don't you cry, I'll be back again someday. There was an earlier moment when he says, the sun was hot that day, let's run and we'll have some fun now before I melt away. Implying he will melt away, but he doesn't necessarily do that. We don't see that on the actual song itself. But I I think that because this is a children's song, they're not going to straight up say, Frosty the Snowman melted and died. They're going to say something like, he went off to a farm with his uncle, or... He just walked away in the hills of Dang. snow. So if my uncle invites me to a farm, he's going to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. what I'm taking If our this. dad invites you to a farm, don't we don't have a farm. <laughs> you will not come back. <laughs> no, yeah. No, I kind of hear that. They wouldn't just necessarily straight up say that he's just dead. But yeah, yeah. Charles, I'd like yeah. you to take a moment just talk about your favorite movie ever, the second Frosty the Snowman movie. Frosty Returns <laughs> is so... Good. Oh my god. You seen this movie? Have you seen this no, movie? No, I have not. Let me explain. <laughs> oh no. So Frosty the Snowman one. It's about the snowman that comes to life. Um, he spreads some holiday cheer and he flies off with Santa to the North Pole. And it's the end of the movie and it's great. This girl made a friend. It's a great Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. Frosty two, <laughs> there's this girl, she's getting ready for the talent show at her school, um, and then her hat which she was using for magic, flies out the window, lands on Frosty the Snowman, and he goes around and tells everyone the joys of snow. Meanwhile, there's this evil capitalist okay. <laughs> who's talking about how he hates snow so much and basically gets these global warming cans <laughs> that you can spray on snow and make it disappear, and then he goes around just spray... It's called summer weeds. <laughs> <laughs> So this this summer weed <laughs> dealer just sprays his chemicals all over town, and everyone's like, "There's no more snow, and it's great." And then Frosty comes out and like sings a song, and like people just change their minds, and then that's how it ends. Wow. Um, I'm just really into it because of the global warming in a can. It's yes. Just, it was just really exciting to me. To see. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, uh. Anyways, <laughs> Frosty the Snowman. I'm gonna put a C tier. You know what? I'm going to put Frosty Snowman at B tier because of the themes. It's all about 
having a loved one and getting along with them while they're there, despite the limited time that you guys have. Dang. And that's that's Christmas in a nutshell. I think it's a Ooh. weird a weird package to ship that message in, but I appreciate it. It's kind of like our relationship with Eric. Hmm, yes, yes. Now I know exactly what you're talking about. I was Eric, lost before you said that. <laughs> now I know exactly Eric, what you're talking about. Eric actually about. dies every time Christmas is over. <laughs> he just walks back to Sweden and dies, and then another clone of him spawns every time we're going to hang out again. That's um, unfortunately no, true. I'm on the same page. I think this is a B-tier song, though. B-tier song? Uh, I gave it C only because, mm. again, I just don't really listen to... Because like, I do listen to some Christmas songs, so the fact hold that the it's phone, not one of those... Hold the phone. You're telling me. When you're at your house, just chilling, you're not pumping Frosty the Snowman trap remixes out. What is wrong with you? I don't like. You should be ashamed. <laughs> okay, time out. Time out. You said pumping Frosty the Snowman trap remixes out as if he's like creating them. And uh, not yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm really sad. This is a podcast. I know you. The worst dance. I I've was seen. imagining the absolute trap remix of. Frosty the Snowman and I loved everything. That's how Frosty the Snowman make it would right dance. now. That's how Frosty the Snowman would dance if he was a frat boy. <laughs> well, I was <laughs> Frosty the Snowman. He's a jolly happy soul with a corn cup pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of blue. Wow. Goal. <laughs> Goal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think B-tier. we should just trademark that. B tier, B tier, C tier. Next up, Santa Claus is coming to town. A notoriously terrifying song, Andre. Oh, how yeah. do you feel about it? Okay, so I'm conflicted right off the bat. Because I think the song itself is pretty dang good. I like the tune of it. I like the... You know? But I gotta admit, terrifying. Mm-hmm. He's sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake, he knows if you've been bad or good. Just straight off the bat, no one wants an omniscient Santa Claus, you know? <laughs> no one. Is this That's song what about... I always say. <laughs> what were you going to say? Is this song about God? <laughs> I was going to say, they really make Santa sound like God. And this... He sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake, he knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. You better watch out. You better not cry. <laughs> and then also, why, this... why did they say you better not cry? Why did they even have to say that? <laughs> As if crying makes you... Don't cry, don't cry, don't, don't cry. cry. No, <laughs> don't no, no, no that's like more of like, no, don't cry. He's like, you better not cry. Yeah. You, wake up, you wake up in the middle of the night and he's like, don't you say <laughs> words. <laughs> and, then, and then he starts sobbing and then he just takes all the presents out of one of the tree. This is what you get. Yeah. I also hate the start of this last stanza. Santa's a busy man. He has no time to play. He's got millions of stockings to fill on Christmas Day, implying like, hey man, you better not mess with Santa's time. He's got a lot to do. He's a busy man. He's a busy man. If you man. take something out of Santa's day, you are ruining Christmas, all right? This is a busy, nice this guy. This is really anti the Christmas spirit. This yeah. is not encouraging familial growth. This is just be good or else you will suffer. <laughs> this is abusive. <laughs> you better not cry, but if you also, do, you'll have a reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh I also have a philosophical disagreement with this. I fundamentally dispute the idea of a naughty and nice list. I think that, you know, bringing people down to black and white is just not fair. Right. Everyone should be black and white works. at the same time. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but if people were black and white, I really like it the when someone has a black so parent and a white better. parent. Wow. Uh,. If anyone doesn't know, we are all mixed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your, wait, just real quick. What's your guys' favorite Supreme Court amendment? Because I really like Loving vs. Virginia, the one that allowed black people and white people to get married without any consequence from the law. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you guys like? Because <laughs> I like that one a lot. <laughs> Without any guns to things from the law. <laughs> I forgot the word I was trying to say. So, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, I just disagree with, um, you know. Sure, there's naughty, naughty people, nice. there, are ni- there are naughty kids, there are nice kids. It's all mm-hmm. circumstances, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> Charles dropped his phone. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think that on a deep level, I don't agree with this. Sure. What do you guys, uh, where do you guys want to rank it? Oh, I can't put it on the same tier as the other ones I've done. I put two Bs. I think this is a C tier song. I'm pretty oh, confident in that. I think Just because I don't agree with the ideological aspects of it, um, even if it's a good song. 
I I will say I'm I'm giving it a low one. I think I'm getting it a D. Ooh. I think I was gonna give it a D as well. Because ooh, ooh, ooh. ever since even like me being young, I've always thought about the creepy creepy aspect of the song. Like even at a young age, I'm like, you better not run. You better not hide. Like what does that even mean? Like I'm not. Why would I hide from Santa? Why do you think I want to hide? Like I'm in bed. Like. <laughs> What about this is supposed to be scary enough for me to hide? Like, I don't know. Everything about it is just weird. It, yeah. does, it doesn't seem like a Christmas song. It's just, like, most threatening horror version of just a guy <laughs> climbing down your chimney and just snooping around your house. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> yeah. I'm also giving it a D. I feel like it's detrimental. It's anti-Christmas. D I for detrimental. Like song is D for detrimental. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I'm also going to put it D. Just because I feel like I can't put this above Jingle Bells. Cause yeah. Jingle Bells, I don't like the, the lyrics of it, but this is just, like, haunting. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, next up, uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. You know what? Yeah. I kind of like this song. You kind of like this song? I kind of do. Because it makes me happy. I don't really know much about the lyrics, sure. but the melody and even just, like, the beginning, like, I just... It What's makes that? me happy. It's been like my Christmas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> I was doing some weird dance. I don't know who. But it helped my performance. Um, no. <laughs> no, it honestly just kind of puts me in a jolly mood. Whole song. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. sure. It's got a good vibe. Like, it's just bright. <clears throat> it's a bright song. It. Pretty a sight to see is the holly that will be on your own. Run door. Just good vibes. I agree. I don't know about the uh, whole Barney and Ben, Janice and Jan deal and like the third stanza. You got like, <laughs> wait a minute, hold on. A pair of hopper long boots and a pistol that shoots is the wish of Barney and Ben. Dolls that'll talk and will go for a walk is the hope of Janice and Jan. And mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. I don't know about it's that po stanza No, it's, it's poetic, I think. I think you're getting all this imagery from what the Christmas season is. That's and true. that's adding to enhance this and point. And the names are personifying everything. Right. I just don't know about Hardly Wait for School to Start Again. That's like the classic Disney Channel trope of like, oh, I hate my kids. <laughs> Finally, I can get rid of them. Sure. But I think I think it's all in good fun. I agree. I'm not saying okay. I, they hate their children specifically, just that they can't wait for school. I think it's again. one of those things where it's like, you don't hate your family, but sometimes when you're home alone, you're just like, oh. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just one of those things. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When you're just like, oh. Eric, I, I, <laughs> yes. I think we have very different... <laughs> ideas of what we're doing at home. I'm like, you know, <laughs> eating cereal, like yeah. doing homework and stuff. You're just sitting there on your bed, just like, yeah, I came home. <laughs> I came My home the other day. It was just solitude. <laughs> it was just Eric in, in this room by himself. And I opened the door and I just saw him sprawled out on the couch going. <laughs> I feel like we should probably change. The well, there's a reason why I can't do that when people are home. Because <laughs> <laughs> we judge you. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, um, I think this is an A tier. Christmas. I was going to say A as well. Yeah, I'm with you. A. A, -tier. A -tier. Next up is Santa Baby. Never say that again. Santa <laughs> Baby. <laughs> See, okay, I'm just going to oh. preface this real quick. I didn't know of this song until like Santa, 20 minutes ago. Santa Baby. I am absolutely horrified. Okay, I listened to it over and over again to really make sure it's in my brain. Intervention. I can't. Stop. Stop. I just can't. Stop. Say can I, can I just say something? I can't with this yes. song. Santa Baby. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, no, it creeps me out. I don't feel like it's very Christmassy. I wouldn't want to play in front of my kids. So, yeah, <laughs> it's already on thin ice. When I was in first grade, people oh, from no. the high school came to sing this song. They sang other songs. It wasn't just this song, just to preface. <laughs> and I thought, Imagine the planning around <laughs> just this song. Like, how do you just, even bring that up? They just played this like, song. No, they, played, they sang a bunch of songs. It was an acapella group. They sang this song, and I was like, wow. This song's my jam. <laughs> from, you said that. From six years old, I decided that <laughs> Santa Baby is a bop. And I'll stand by that. First of all, this person's upset they're not getting what they want for Christmas. <laughs> and it's just amazing to me that their first instinct is to seduce Santa. <laughs> You're like, I hurry down my chimney tonight, Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's... And then Santa's like, yeah, okay, you can have this car. <laughs> Thanks for being hot. <laughs> oh, man. 
I feel like maybe it puts a little bit more of a realistic turn on how the world works. Sure. So maybe if it's Santa really, dang, like, it's I really think about gender you might roles. be right. Like That's, if Santa came down a whoa. chimney nowadays and it's like some single forty year old woman that has no kids anymore, or like doesn't have, they didn't die, but like they moved out of the house or whatever, <laughs> and she's like, "Oh, Santa, Hold baby, it, what thought. you doing?" So you're implying that Santa Claus, who we already know is the embodiment of good, he is God after all, right? He is God. He knows when you're. I good think or we've bad. decided based on Santa Claus coming to town. He's not good, necessarily. Correct. But you're saying he would have an affair and just, like, cheat on his wife? Mrs. Claus? I think... You think he could be seduced? I can't I think everyone can be seduced. Uh, (laughs) I just think... You said that with such a look in your eyes. I straight up accidentally looked Andre straight in the eyes. (laughs) I I was like, everyone can can be be seduced. seduced. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, now I really don't like the idea of these high schoolers coming to the first graders just just singing this song. Like, hey, what's teach Guys, what song do they do? It'll be first graders? Uh, I've got something in this. And you know what's awful? This. It worked on me. <laughs> oh! I have never stopped thinking about Santa oh Baby. Oh Those high schoolers singing it. All right. There's a female oh. acapella group, I guess I should preface. Not that it really matters. I just remember that part, too. Charles, um, you made this so much worse by you're giving you like, <laughs> and it did stick with me. <laughs> oh, this. Um, 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 I honestly... Santa Baby B for baby. Wow. I remember you arranged a trombone quartet version of this song at some mm-hmm. point, and I played it with you. That was so good. Like, that so was one hype. of my favorite songs. Um, I think that when you... When you it's better exclude, without lyrics, Yeah, when I you think. exclude lyrics from it, it's really an absolute... Mm, but also, it's really good with lyrics, too. So... It's got that going for it. <laughs> it's just overall amazing. This is really yeah. I just think that's all. We should also do Santa. That's the more. That's what this Christmas is all nope, about. No, actually, I'd like to add, uh, another intervention here. It's, nope, not not the case. Santa baby. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Unfortunately, I I will I will begrudgingly put it in B tier because it is just such a bop. Wow, See, such a bop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this song weirds me out, but I will give it an extra point for originality. <laughs> Sure. I actually there's will no other song because there's baby. no other song that's like remotely close to Santa Baby. Santa baby. <laughs> so we move on as soon as possible. I'm, I'm, I'm giving it a C. Santa Baby. <laughs> um, okay, next up is Here Comes Santa Claus. Here Comes Santa Claus right down Santa Claus Lane. This song's weird. It feels kind of redundant. Sounds like they're stressing. Here Comes Santa Here Comes Santa, right down Santa Claus Lane. Yeah. It's in, it's in all his reindeer. I am a little bit, you know, more okay with it because it's not just saying it over and over. It's a little bit more of like a, here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, it's a bouncy song. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's definitely bouncy. I'm a bouncy boy, so I like bouncy songs, you know? Um, I will say, <clears throat> immediately caught my eye, looking at the lyrics here, last stanza. Peace on earth will come to all if we just follow the light. So let's give thanks to the Lord above, because Santa Claus comes tonight! <laughs> wow, that was like some. They don't spell. sing it like that, though. <laughs> they don't Correct. sing it like they're in a cult. But it's just strange that, like, oh, yes, if we follow the light, we can help cause peace on earth thanks to Santa Claus coming to give us our gifts on Christmas Day. <laughs> wow. I'm just perturbed by that. Wow. What? Wait, what about it perturbs you? Um. Because I do, I do know you're you're strictly secular. This is a religious holiday, right? Of course. So I think it does. I think it's fine. It's just that I, I guess the expansion from you know he's gonna bring us some toys for boys and girls to peace on earth will come to all is just a very strong shift. Sure, sure, sure. I guess yeah. It's, it's a wholesome song. People don't usually associate Santa Claus with like God and Christianity. <laughs> we do. We do. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Santa, Rudolph, and <laughs> Frosty. <laughs> and Michael Bublé. I know I did just kind of imply that Santa Claus gave birth to Rudolph the Rain, Rude, Red Nose. Rudolph the, <laughs> Rudolph, the Rude Rudolph, Rudolph the Rude Boy. Rudolph the Rude Boy by Rihanna. <laughs> Come on, Rudolph, the can't get it. Um, oh my gosh. Anyways, I like this song because it's a better. Santa Claus is coming to town. Correct. It's not creepy. It's here comes down the lane. So stay, stay, hang your stockings, say your prayers. Santa Claus comes tonight. Like it feels like you're like mm-hmm. urging your kids to go to bed, not saying if you don't go to bed, Santa Claus is gonna come and find 100%. you. Hundred <laughs> percent. And I feel like it generally is bringing about every aspect about Christmas. It's like yeah. 
I feel like we're we're getting some of the Santa's helpers perspective. I feel like we're getting some of the family perspective. I feel like we're just getting a lot of different angles at yeah, yeah. Christmas. You know, I'll be the first to say it. <clears throat> I think this is an A tier Christmas song. I don't know too much about the actual tune being like crazy good, but I think it's so wholesome and I can't really diss it too much. I gotta say it's pretty good. I was about a B tier. I just don't feel the A tier from it, you know? I agree. I don't like it more than Santa Baby, but at the same time, I don't like a lot of things. Do I want to put Santa Baby in S tier? Well, if you do, this podcast is ending early. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to put Santa Baby up to A tier. I'm not putting it quite at S tier. That is just so Here comes Santa Claus is going to be B tier for me. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm still trying to decide. (sighs) Yeah. See, you did say A tier at first. Yes. And I was going to do... I was thinking B tier with the possibility of actually being put up one later. Um, so that's, I think, where I'm at right now. I'm, I, I do genuinely enjoy it, and I haven't even put a single B tier yet, but I almost do want to put it on A tier, but I think I'm going to stick with B right now. It okay, might okay. it might get bumped up. Sure, sure, sure. Holding my A for now. Holding your A. Um, next up, we got the 12 Days of Christmas. All right. I, I don't really... Vibe understand this song nor do i vibe with it <laughs> okay yeah I'm, I'm glad you guys said that because i'm not gonna lie this is also one of those i just rarely listen to i feel like it's rarely played i don't even really know what it's about much i just I like know it here. i had I mean, a lot of experience with it in like elementary school yeah. and like i haven't since right i don't know why so just to, to summarize it for you right there are 12 days of Christmas, as you know, right? Obviously. First day, you get a partridge in a pear tree. Second day, you get two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Third day, you get... F- Yo, wait, wait, what? 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 This what? Is a weird, this is a weird lyrics page. We got yeah, I, I found a song that I think is off. Um, but you just keep getting things. Right. And you get... Every day, it's just a compound interest situation. Cumulatively, you're adding on and on and on. Until the last day, you get a bunch of stuff. And, and it's you're just getting like... the weirdest gifts. Who For wants me, a partridge in a pear tree in 2019? Yeah, I mean, I'm just... kind of outdated. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like this song is, like, almost trying to, like, force <clears throat> expectations upon sure. you. Like, you're supposed to get this. And, and, like, not everyone even gets Christmas leading up... I mean, presents leading up to Christmas. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they're just like, oh, this is the right way to do Christmas. This yeah. is that day you get that. That day... It's like, if you don't get it... Are you celebrating well, Christmas, right? <laughs> and then, like, I don't know. But then it starts... So it starts out with a partridge and a pear tree, which yes. is weird. Why, it, like, a partridge and a pear tree, and the partridge is in the pear tree, <laughs> you just got a bird and a tree. Like, that's pretty intense. Mm-hmm. And then by the ninth day... No, by the eighth day, you get eight maids of milking? You get maids. What? Is this, like, slavery? <laughs> <laughs> That's my new favorite sentence. On Is this, like, slavery? Hold on. Is God. Christmas Ooh. an excuse for slaver? And all it says is eight maids of milking. Are they milking cows? I mean, I assume they're milking cows or goats. Do, are, do you have cows in this scenario? Like, is everyone just supposed to have cows? What do these milking maids do if there's no cows? They just hang around? That's true. Dang. Charles going off. Nine ladies dancing. That's the next one. Dancers, sure, you're hiring dancers, but you get them over and over again. Lords a leaping. Pipers piping. Drummers drumming. Why does it start out with birds and turn into people? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Actually, we have is- we have partridge, turtle doves, French hens, calling birds, five gold rings, well, whatever. Geese swans, and then you got maids, ladies, lords, pipers, and drummers. I'm sorry, but when do you get any of those things for Christmas? <laughs> exactly. When have you ever received a human being for Christmas? <laughs> this <laughs> like, is like this is like a king gifting things to like his queen. Yeah, it I will say it has some unrealistic expectations for sure. I'm just imagining after the eleventh day, you got some pipers piping, right? And you're just like, I love you, true love, you're great and all, but like this has been a lot what could he possibly do for the twelfth day? I mean, you just hear. Oh, the window, and it's just twelve drummers on top of everything else, and you're just like, oh my god. <laughs> and then you're like, are they gonna drum all all day long? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I I think that I I have to say this is pretty iconic though, like the whole five golden rings. Sure. Yeah, I guess I guess as far as. Um, as far as, um, 
music goes, I think it's an all right song. Pretty classical, but it's, it's a unique in that I'm sense. putting it at C. I agree. And the C for Christmas. <laughs> C for Christmas, it shall be for me as well. Triple wow. C. We're on the same page, guys. We really are. Somewhat, yeah. <clears throat> Except for Charles's <clears throat> sense of favor. It's not a baby. Oh my gosh, it's so. <laughs> it's really fun to say. It's not. Eric. Eric tried it once. It was fun, right? You're trying to convert him. Sense of baby. Ooh. Okay. And now I'm really concerned that this is a new no, religion that's forming. You know what? I want you to say it, Andre. Wait a minute. Don't no, change. change. Don't change. So, don't. No. Even even I'm with this. I kind of want this. Sense of baby. I'm not saying. Say it like Brian David Gilbert. That's what I'm trying to do. Santa baby. <laughs> Why'd you say that like a weird, weird Texas speech? Oh, I feel mean, like a British idea. historian. Mm-hmm. Say it. Santa baby. Santa baby. <laughs> Why did you, you turn into it? Anyway, um, I think you're making a new religion out of this because you're so obsessed with things, Santa baby. We've talked about how he might be God, right? If you turn the letters of Santa and you switch them around, you can get Satan. So what if you're starting the new religion called Santanism? Satan, baby. <laughs> I mean, he does watch you when you're sleeping, so he knows when you're awake. Let's move on to the next song. I don't know what. I um, thought. deck the halls. <laughs> I really like deck the halls because most of it is just fa la 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 la. Deck the house. Deck the house. Deck, deck the, the house. house with boughs of holly. So it's just herbs, like plant holly yeah. plant. Yeah. Fa la 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 la. Cool. <laughs> Tis the ch- season to be jolly. <laughs> you can't speak. Fa la 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 Don we now are gay apparel. Uh, well. <laughs> okay. Fa la 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 la. Break from speaking. I Troll think the might... ancient Yuletide Carol. So this is basically like putting up the decorations. Time to be happy. Ooh. Wearing our happy clothes. Ooh. Time for Christmas. Uh. Succinct and in between, you got those fa la 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 las. I like the, I like the. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying, as a song, like I feel like it's the version of like someone with like I know how to rap, but they do like that really weak version of raps. Like my name is Eric, and I grew up on the streets. Ooh, keep it going when now. When I go to bed, Ooh, yeah, I mess up my sheets. Ooh, oh, you know what I mean? Sheets, like, yeah. but it's not like yeah. a genuine like crazy. Sure, sure, sure. So I you mean, you have a game you made called Freestyle Like the Halls that we should play right now. <clears throat> so this game allows it to be a lot easier for people to, to learn how to freestyle rap. Freestyle. You can do lines one and three. I'll do lines two and four. Okay. Or do we? Do you want to go in a circle? Ooh, scary stuff. So you'll do the first line. He'll do the second line. I'll do the third line. You do the fourth line, and we you try. And oh, rhyme. we you, just like you try and rhyme with the second one. We'll just like complete the other person's bar. Is what you're trying to say? Three. Two, one, Let's go. go. Bout to rank some Christmas songs. Fa la 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 la. Do it right and don't be wrong. Fa la 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 la. We're spitting some rhymes and you know they're strong. Fa la 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 la. Yeah, you can hit me with this freaking bongo. Fa la 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 la. I wasn't. Andre messed up his line real bad. Fa la 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 la. It's okay, cause. We're not even sad. Eric's rapper name is Ironclad. These rhymes, we got them in the bag. There we go. So we don't have to do that rhyme structure of A A A A. We can do. I think Eric Eric stuck with the third A, and then we were just like, we'll do A A A A. For sure. For sure. That was a tangent. That took us about uh, five minutes. It did. <laughs> really did. But Anyways. it all was coming together to say, deck the halls. Pretty aight. B. It's B. <laughs> B. B. Yeah. It's all right. I got to stick with B, I think. Ooh, yeah. that's pretty I don't, out. like, I don't jam out to this song, mm-hmm. but the follow laws are really on, they're on point for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I'll give it a C, because I don't necessarily C. like the song, but... I'll give it that almost everyone knows it. It is, like, pretty... You respect it. Yeah, like, you gotta. You gotta. Yeah. yeah. Next up, we have the GOAT. Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is you S-tier. S-tier. Yeah, S-tier. That has to be. No question. There has to be. I was waiting for this one. Somehow, it just bangs. never gets it old. It bangs. It, it bangs. slaps. Yes. It's that good. 
I don't even know if we need to explain. Mm-hmm. That, that's enough explanation right there. Like, literally, it's actually just so good. I think it's so positive. I feel like it's one of those songs where you can't not feel great listening to it. And, like, depending on no matter where you are in your life, like, it will make you think of things that you're grateful for. It will make you think of people that you're grateful for. And I don't know. I think it's... All around an amazing song, melody, singing, everything and all. It's got the Christmas spirit in it too. Absolutely. It's all about that family family ties coming together. I was for ready the for Eric to have like a whole year. like speech <laughs> on this song. <laughs> my fellow Americans, my fellow Americans. Mariah Carey is an American hero. She has created a song that we can all relate to. We can all understand. That we all know <sighs> truly embodies. The Christmas spirit. What are you doing? Oh, Eric Obama. <laughs> <laughs> it would almost be an honor to kill you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gorilla <laughs> Grodd, our new guest of the oh. podcast. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. okay. Yes, Barack Obama, you're appreciated. Go watch Legends that was of Tomorrow, more guys. Of, more of the story. All I want for Christmas, we appreciate Barack Obama. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, oh. SSS. Yeah. That's my favorite set of three letters. Three, three letters. A snake. Now, sa, sa, sa. the last song, the one I wanted to talk about so oh, bad. Oh boy. Last Christmas. Okay. Hmm. Here's what I think about Last Christmas it's dumb. Oh. It's I did not think that was coming. It's terrible. I do, okay, I don't really like the song in last itself. Last Christmas. I gave you my heart. Yes. The very next day, you gave it away. Let's stop, let's stop there. Let's stop there. Let's stop yeah. there. Let's stop there. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. Last Christmas, I told you I loved you. Yep. Don't tell someone you love them on Christmas. That's so much pressure. That's like proposing to someone on Christmas. Like, you have to say yes because it's Christmas. Mm-hmm. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. But the very next day, you gave it away. They were like, yeah, it was Christmas. Of course, I said yes. <laughs> Today, we're not getting married. This year, descending from tears, like, it took them a whole year to, to get over this. To tears. save me from tears. My bad. I'll give it to someone special. He's going to... give it to someone special. Mm-hmm. Special. No, uh, he didn't learn his lesson. He, he yeah. said... He said... <laughs> uh, he, he asked someone to marry him or love them on Christmas. And then they were like, no, dude, it was Christmas. Sorry. And then a year later, he's like, fine, I'll tell this different person I love them on Christmas <laughs> and it'll go better. I just think it's interesting how he has a perfect schedule of, like, finding and also catching feelings for a person <laughs> yeah. yearly. Like, it's such an annual feeling for him. Really, it's, a, it's kind of about someone with a curse. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel. I was just going to say that. It feels like it's a, a, a mixture between a curse and almost just, like, that period where, like, everyone's just kind of, like... In that moment, it's just like, oh, last Christmas I gave you my heart the very next day. You know, just like that constant feel of like let down when you just like you feel like you're giving someone your heart and it's just right. not right. not paying off. But like, I don't get how that's Christmassy. Exactly. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan of depressing Christmas songs personally. I right. feel like it takes away from, I mean, I understand that people aren't. Like, Christmas is overall, like, uh, uh, romanticized, and there's people that are sad around the holidays. Like, you can't just pretend everything is okay mm-hmm. on the holidays. Yeah. But... I don't want to listen to songs that are sad. <laughs> Welcome to this Christmas party. Let's start out. My girlfriend left me on Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I'm really sad. I'm going to propose to someone else on Christmas I this year. I also want to mention um, this middle stanza. Um, Once bitten and twice shy. I keep my distance, but you still catch my eye. Tell me, baby, do you recognize me? <laughs> well, it's been a year. It doesn't surprise me. Like it's just, I don't like that at all. And then at the end... Um, uh, if I know what a fool I've been, but if you kissed me now, I know you'd fool me again. So like, he still isn't even over it. Yeah. If you, yeah. Me, I mean, he's he's still... he, is, he is singing a song a year. He's singing the song a year later. Right. I just get the vibes that this guy is like the stereotypical fedora nice guy, where he's like, that was exactly I, what I was thinking. I gave him a heart, babe, and you just didn't even accept it. <laughs> so now. I'm gonna give it to someone who really deserves it, cause you deserve to die. Yeah, you deserve to die, cause I'm a good person. And if you don't wanna, you don't wanna be with me. That shows that you suck. You're a bad person. You know that, <laughs> man. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it just slowly gets more and more violent. 
Oh. Last Christmas, I got convicted for murder. <laughs> That's gonna literally turn into like, Last Christmas, I took your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas, oh. I ripped out your heart. Okay. What are you gonna rank this, Charles? I'm actually really curious. F. Okay. I don't like the song. I don't. I think it, it makes me feel the opposite of See, how I want to feel on Christmas. I. Okay, actually, that's a good way to explain it because I was gonna give it D, because I really just feel bad about giving it F. Sir. Sure. But. I, I don't and I don't even personally have a grudge over it because it's like sad or whatever whatever because like some songs can be sad and still great like I depending love, on yeah, the, yeah, yeah sad like sad songs. songs can be amazing you don't even have to be sad to enjoy them or whatever but if you're really gonna make a Christmas song like you just can't like obviously you can have like the harsh realities of certain things like I'm sure there's some Christmas songs we went over today that just has like r- like realistic elements of life and whatever but like sure, this like, one is like literally the Red Nose Ranger or exactly Michael like. But this one is literally from start to finish, like, just pure depression. Yes. Like, it's like that guy that at a wedding that's, like, trying to crash it. Like, everyone there's happy. Like, the <laughs> parents are like, oh, my daughter's going to get married. But there's that one guy that's like, I'm going to crash this wedding. It's like, <laughs> why are you here? <laughs> like, this is a wedding. Like, why are you being depressed on we Christmas? We all know that guy. That we guy. all know that guy. And his name is usually... Eric. Oh, okay. Um... No, I, it's not. It's not just the song is sad. Yeah. Cause like Blue Christmas is a sad Christmas song, but he's saying I'll have a Blue Christmas without you. Like I'm gonna miss you. That still has the family themes. If I mm. love my family, we're gonna be apart. And that's sad. All I want for Christmas is you. Is we're not together. All I want for Christmas is to be with you. <laughs> Last Christmas is whiny, and that's what drives me yeah, crazy. Is to, he's like yeah. pity me. I didn't get this girl. I was gonna mention that like Last Christmas and All I Want for Christmas is you are kind of like foils through similarity like they juxtapose one another yeah because they're they could hypothetically say they're in the exact same situation right mariah last year tried to give a heart to someone the person was literally mentally insane and didn't accept right because that's how that's how crazy someone must be to not mm-hmm. love you um and this year she's like you know what i'm done with that all i want for christmas is you that's the same vibe potentially of this guy the same situation but he's so much worse about taking it mm-hmm. he's like the past is sad and now i'm gonna find someone better than you Instead of looking forward, it's looking to the past right. instead of looking forward, you know. And I, I gotta say, I don't, I don't detest the musical aspect of this song in terms of like right. the song itself, which makes it hard for me to put it in F tier. But since I put Jingle Bells in D, I have to put this in F because it's not. This isn't on the same tier as Jingle Bells. Right. This isn't mm-hmm. a, This isn't an okay mm-hmm. song. This is not a good song. Right. I agree. I fully agree. Mm. It does make it hard to save. Yes. So we're in uh, mostly in agreement. Um, now we're gonna do. A bit of a lightning round. Eric, you can sit this one out if you want. I know you haven't heard a lot of these songs. Right, I'm gonna be the uneducated foreigner. That's sure. just kinda gonna be sitting Can you actually there. can you actually read them? Yeah. And then Andre and I will just <laughs> gut reactions oh, to our Jesus. tears. Okay, I didn't even know this is a song. <laughs> Alright, cool. So for the lightning round, the first one is I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. B, B. funny. It's a funny song. I don't know much about it. Can you can you guys give me a little a sample? Time. I, don't I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Oh wait, I've heard this song. <laughs> Why am I? I feel like I've heard it on like a commercial. <laughs> like Very not even. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool. So That's that was the first one. Second one. Let it snow. A. I don't know about like the weird. I don't know if this is the, is this is the one of the weird songs. That's not the, that baby. It's cold outside. Is the weird okay, song. Okay. I just get good vibes from this song. I think it's a, like, nice, wholesome... I As soon as you think Let It Snow, I imagine a log cabin. It's dark. It's snowy outside, but, like, not too snowy. Right, right. It's not like a blizzard. It's just nice. And there's a nice fire inside. And Michael Bublé is just sitting there, like, chilling. It's like, hey, <laughs> hey, come on down. We'll have come some on, hot chocolate. Yeah. Have a good night. Um, I'm, I'm like, thanks, Michael Bublé. I appreciate <laughs> that, buddy. I'm giving it B. I think it's good. It's got all the right Christmas themes. It's just nothing special to me. Okay. Know? Fair. All right, third one, Blue Christmas. Don't know this song very well at all. Might not even heard it ever. Blue Christmas, huh? I might give it an A. Uh, Sound-wise, it, it's it's usually sung by the one people listen to is sung by Elvis, so it has like a different. It's in a different genre. A lot of Christmas songs are in like jazz, um, and I said earlier it has the right Christmas themes. I uh, I don't hate this song. All it's right, a good good song. All right, cool. Number four, Silver Bells. C. I also have not heard this in, in quite Silver some bells. <laughs> it's Christmas time in the city. That's not. <laughs> they're just saying it's Christmas time and the bells are silver. <laughs> there's, yeah. a lot, there's a lot of innovation going on there. The lyrics, they, they have the right words in terms of like, <laughs> these like, are the Christmas words. Like green, Christ- red, 
but it's just a shell of a song. It's, it's like a computer of, generated Christmas song. Yeah, it's song. devoid of real heart. So I will also give it C. It's exactly average. Oh wow. Okay. So number five, rocking around the Christmas tree. Dude, freaking A. I actually think this song is kind of a bop. Hmm. A bop. rocking, rocking around the Christmas tree at the na, Christmas na, party. Na, 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 na. Pop. <laughs> Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple prizes. You convinced me. Hey. Yeah, I agree with you, especially the uh, last part with the whole Rrrr! like that part. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> well, it ends like that with like a high note. Like, That's a note. Okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. In the new old fashioned way. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I, I just heard <laughs> yeah, Only because I didn't know the lyrics, so I just had to make yeah, the I noise. Didn't, I didn't remember. I said to do that. Someone from the new Star Wars trilogy was talking about Ray. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is an A tier. Oh wait, yeah, A tier song. It's a good song. I like it. All right, cool. So now we're finally at it. The Jingle Bell Rock. Hey, I think Jingle Bell Rock is this similar vibes to um, Rock Around the Christmas Tree. It's just a masterclass in how you can take Jingle Bells and make it better. Where it's like it has consistently like not not the most varied lyrics of all time, mm -hmm. but it's just a more it's popping around. It doesn't talk too much about one horse open sleighs. Um, I guess it does still talk about one horse open sleighs. Now I'm thinking about it, I'm, I'm looking at the lyrics. It talks about one horse sleighs a lot. Um, but I think it's a better <laughs> song. Um, B. It's fine. It's fine. Those are all, that's all my notes. Uh, <laughs> actually, um, I might, I might it doesn't, it, yeah, B. It doesn't matter. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one I've never heard of ever. A Little St. Nick. This is a Beach Boys song that our dad put on our Christmas CD. I give this A tier. A plus tier, like this is close to an S tier song. Oh wow! Little Saint Nick, Little Saint Nick, Little Saint Nick. I can't oh. sing, so it doesn't help. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's just the good vibes. Yeah. You 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 kind of sway to it. This is good. Yeah. Uh, Dominic the Donkey. S tier song, so S good. I love it so much. It's so freaking awesome. Oh okay, wow. Losing your guys, guys, guys. Okay. Hee -haw, hee -haw. It's Dominic the Donkey. You, I gotta be honest with you guys. If you've never heard Dominic the Donkey, stop. Pause this video right now, okay? Dude, pause the video. Go look up Dominic the Donkey. Dominic the Donkey. I'll wait. All right. Now listen to that song, dude. It's such a banger. Hee haw hee haw. Well, if you haven't heard it, it'll be really weird to hear Charles say he honking on so much. But it's just a really cute, quirky song. I love it. Santa baby, I'm Dominic the donkey, dude. <laughs> you can't see, I'm just giving him a death oh. stare. Yeah, I'm Andre, Andre has a lot of disappointing glares at me. Well, I mean, it's because <laughs> you put so much soul into it. <laughs> Dominic the donkey could seduce Santa Claus. <laughs> All right, changing the topic. Christmas time is here. Honestly, I really like this song. I don't know why it's sad. What do you Christmas mean? time is here. Like the notes are just sad. It just feels like a sad song. I'm giving it a B. I'm gonna give it an S here. I honestly. Whoa! It. Here's the thing. If you listen to this song with a children's choir, it I smile every time. It's just such a wholesome song like not necessarily because it's the best song melodically in the whole world but it's just joy incarnate i'll it's give just, it it's I'll just give it children a having a good time it's so happy yeah it's just mostly minor like the first few chords are just minor it just feels but, yeah, wrong to i can see it like as, as the end of the charlie, charlie brown christmas movie that can be like it's like uh, the start it's the or, or okay that's fair yeah but nonetheless it's just like ah christmas time you know Maybe it's not necessarily all fun and games, but nonetheless, we can have a good time around Christmas. <laughs> Charlie Brown and his friends are skating around, and it's just winter. Good grief. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, honestly, this next one, even though me growing up in Sweden, this is actually the one that they played the most mm. in Sweden, out of all of these Christmas songs, and it's Feliz Navidad. Really? Yes, that's the one in Sweden out of all of these they played Feliz the most. Navidad, da, 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 da. Feliz, Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Um, I think it's funny that it's just a thing. It's just Merry Christmas is all the it's, song It's is. just Spanish. But it's yeah. in Spanish and it's got like Latin vibes to it. Um, A tier. Yeah, I actually really, really enjoy this song. one. Yeah. I really enjoy the song. When if you mentioned I, the lyrics, I was, I was like, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it is kind of just the same thing over and over again. But it's catchy in a weird way. It's a little more catchier than the other ones in my The opinion. fact that we don't, you don't know what they're saying 
Like I, I, I just Spanish, yeah, yeah. You don't know Spanish, but you still vibe to it. I think that's enough. Hey, hey, hey tier. Absolutely. The chipmunk song. Don't know the song. You Christmas, the Christmas time is here. Time for joy and time for cheers. You don't know that song? From Alvin and the Chipmunks. Andre, we saw Alvin and the Chipmunks. You, me, and Eric. Christmas Day in 2010. <laughs> But we that's honestly our, the only we part. We walked out of the theater thinking, man, yes. Eric is Alvin, Andre is Theodore, and I'm Simon. I asked someone the other day which of the three chipmunks I thought they were. They said you were Alvin. Okay. They said I was Theodore and Andre was Simon. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> like we've changed over I'll time. I'll take that. <laughs> I'm Simon. I hate that. <laughs> I hate you that. don't want to be Theodore. All he does is <laughs> eat and complain. <laughs> Every high school. <laughs> it's just me. I'm so uncomfortable being seen that way. I'm just like, actually, I think they're the calculation. And meanwhile, Eric's always like, I'm Alvin. That's, like, yeah. um, That's hilarious. <laughs> stop, stop laughing about me being a fat green chipmunk. I'm not a fat green chipmunk. I'm just Theodore. Guys. I will say he okay, I he will was? say this though. Theodore is easily the cutest out of all of them. Oh, for sure. Easily. Just like sure. Charles is the cute. <laughs> what? Why Charles, are you at me? Charles, you're cute. I feel like you're patronizing me now. Okay. Um I just haven't seen sorry, I I don't remember things I've seen nine years ago very well when it comes to Alvin and the Chipmunks. I should have such a formative experience. <laughs> <laughs> Name the Chipettes. Oh I don't know. Wait, Name all three of them. Wait, I, don't know a I think one. I can do one I don't know at least, one. please. <laughs> this is a rite of passage. <laughs> Name Chip at you, coward. <laughs> Name them! Brittany, Jeanette, and Eleanor. <laughs> oh, I would never have gotten so, any of those. All three of those. <laughs> I never would have gotten any of those. Oh, you guys I was are... thinking maybe like Jessica, <laughs> Tiffany, Jessica. maybe. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> Jessica. You okay. guys are fake Chipmunks fans. <laughs> I'm not a Chipmunks fan at all. Uh, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this next one. We're going to get all this Chipmunk <laughs> fan hate on this episode. It's like if you talk about My Little Pony, you get bronies <laughs> after <laughs> you. <laughs> These are chippies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a chippy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I have a chip sona. Charles, Except it's I... just Theodore with a glass. <laughs> I hate you so much. You can't talk about chip sona. I'm talking about chip hats. It's not okay. It's not okay. I have a chip sona. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this next one is what we have before we actually get to see each other during Christmas, and it's White Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the White man. Family Christmas. Yes, yeah, so we both have. Oh, since we're both half black, we both also have the white part of our family. So we just call that the white part of Christmas. White Christmas. <laughs> but yes. Hmm. I like the vibes. I'll have to go like B. It's fine. Or C. Okay. Hmm. C. It feels a little racist. I know it's not supposed to be racist. I have to say, it gave me my best Instagram caption ever, which was, "I'm dreaming of a in brackets half black and half white Christmas." Which I was really happy about. That's pretty, pretty good. That is good. good. Yeah, really good. Alright. Oh, sorry. And Winter Wonderland is the second to last one. You know, as much as the song's been around, I've heard it tons of times, it has made no impression on me. <laughs> <laughs> I do not care when I hear this song. Not in a good way and not in a bad way. It's just like pure C plus tier. 75 out of 100. Mm. I was gonna put it B, but I have to agree. It just I don't have I don't remember this song very well. I don't care too much about this song. I don't hear it too. I know those songs. Walking uh, the lyrics. Walking, walking in a winter, winter wonderland. wonderland. That's it. And that's it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> see. See. Wow. All right. Last one. Christmas shoes. Christmas Shoes is a song about a sad, sad boy whose mom's got cancer. And he goes to the store to buy her some shoes. And he says, these shoes are just in her size. And he's a dirty, dirty boy. They said that in the song. He's dirty from head to toe. But he wants to buy these shoes for his mom because she's going to meet Jesus tonight. And she has to look pretty. Uh, I like that, the idea. Like, if she wasn't pretty, she would just go to hell. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus would be like... Oh, Samantha, well, yeah. oh, God, what's on your feet? I mean, let's be honest here, Santa, I mean, Jesus is just really superficial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I also think the person, like, the... <laughs> F tier. Oh, <laughs> It tries so hard, it tries so hard to tell this story about a kid getting shoes for his dying mom, and it's like, I don't care. I, I don't want to hear about your dying mom. It's Christmas. I want to get a new PlayStation 7. This does have one of my favorite, <laughs> my favorite lyrics ever, which is... Standing right in front of me, I was a little boy, waiting anxiously, pacing around like little boys do. 
pacing around like little boys do. I feel like that's more of a grown thing. Hey, why would you know so well how little boys pace, huh? (laughs) That little boy around, he's always anxious. He's really pacing around like a little boy. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I I also... uh, I'll also give this after. And the boy boy goes up to the counter and he's like, Please point these shoes, mister. (laughs) Can I also... The Christmas shoes. And he's like, say the magic words. And he's like... Santa baby. <laughs> oh no. Can, Can I also I add some? on Sleigh Ride? I love Sleigh Ride. I love Sleigh Ride was not on this. It should have been. Sleigh Ride is well, S tier. I... No. It's A tier. It's a good song. Okay. I am putting I c- it. People talk so much about riding in sleighs. That doesn't happen. <laughs> I have to put it like S just because of my experiences with it. We for for those who don't know, in our concert band, we play Slay Ride like every single year. Yep. Not that I play concert band anymore. I used, to, I used to play trombone. But basically, this you instrumental played it version every of single it. year for two years. Correct. <laughs> but it was it's just such a good song. It, it just, it's got so much like nuance to it. Mm-hmm. And I just yeah. like it a lot. It's very satisfying. Our band director used to call it the original whip oh, and nay nay. <laughs> so. I just You're a ru- terrible person. Jonas. I just ruined it, I yeah. think. Oh. Um. Yeah. Do you want to write down our lists? Yeah, we'll Check go down. Out. Uh, Jingle Bells. C. D. D. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. C. B. C. Frosty the Snowman. B. B. D. Woo! Santa Claus is coming to town. D. 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 It's <laughs> a terrible set of three. King D. 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 It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. A. A. An A. Santa wow. baby A B I <laughs> put it as a C. <laughs> well, that's just wrong. Here comes Santa Claus. B A. I have it as a B. Twelve days of Christmas. C C. I have a C as well. Deck the halls. B B C. All I want for Christmas, Christmas is you. <laughs> and I gave it an S. S. An S for me. Last Christmas, F. F. And I got a big ol' F. So, I think that was a really good time, guys. I think we reviewed <laughs> Christmas songs very effectively. Um, and to all of you listeners out there, this has been Tears of Joy. Thank you for listening. If you disagree with our lists, comment yours down below, because there are no wrong answers unless you think Last Christmas is a good Christmas song. Or, if you disagree with the gospel of Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. We'll see you next time. Santa Vinny. Stop! No!